Hey everybody, today we're adding and subtracting your favorite thing and mine, fractions. I don't know why anybody wouldn't love fractions because you can always use food. You remember when you used to have a whole item and you'd separate it into halves and you'd say, okay, a half plus a half equals two halves, which is one whole. Or you'd break it into fourths and say, hey, I have a fourth plus fourth plus fourth plus fourth, which is four fourths, which is still a whole. But what happens when you have a whole and you break it into halves and then you break one of the halves into fours? Well, now I have a fourth plus a fourth plus a half and I know that's a whole, but how would I add that if I didn't already know the answer? We need this magical thing called common denominators. How are we going to get common denominators? Well, we know that a half is equivalent to two fours and now I see that I still have my four fours and I know that that's still a whole. Okay, you see what I'm saying here? To add fractions, you have to have common denominators. Now we can head to the birthday party. Woo! Birthday party cake! Yay! Woo! Okay, so it is Julia's party. Okay, and she's sharing her cake with John. She ate a fifth, he ate three tenths, and we want to know how much they ate all together. Well, to find out how much they ate all together, I need to add, and as I've just learned, I can't add fifths and tenths. I need common denominators. So let's turn that fifth into tenths by separating all those fifths into two pieces and we end up with two tenths. Now we can add two tenths and three tenths by leaving the denominators alone, adding the numerators and kablamo, five tenths of the cake has been eaten. Now let's try one of those together. Here we have Dahlia and she's sharing her cake with Don. So we want to add one-eighth and three-tenths, but we know now that to do that we need common denominators. So what common denominator can we have with an eight and a ten? Well, let's see. An eight doesn't turn into a ten, so ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Forty will work. So I can multiply eight by five to get forty. What I do to the bottom, I must do to the top, and I see that I have five. Now, with three tenths, how am I going to get a 40 in the denominator? I'll multiply that 10 by a 4, multiply 3 by a 4, and now I have 12 fortieths. So now to find my grand total, I add my 5 fortieths and my 12 fortieths by leaving the denominators alone and just adding the numerators. And just like that, you know how to create common denominators to add fractions.